maybe January of last year, um, we were doing a unit on, on velocity. Um, as an introduction, I would usually give them an equation and then give them practice problems. And so I would create a sheet of maybe five or six problems that they would then go home, do for homework, turn into me, I'd grade them in a couple days and give them back to them. Um, but it was that time of, it was, it'd been a couple weeks since we did a forum, so I'm like, oh, I want to do a forum as well. And then it just, I said, well, why don't I incorporate those two things together? So the homework, instead of doing these practice problems, became, why don't you go home and measure something that moves? Something in your life, whether it was a, a dog or their, their little brother or their car, um, and then post all your work. So rather than doing six problems, do one, but it's about something relevant in your life. Damn. And then I said, also, if you want to take a picture of what's moving, um, or actually if you want to videotape the entire thing and upload the video, go ahead. So it was due in a couple of days, and I was, I was amazed that the majority of the kids uploaded these videos. And we'd never spent time in class teaching iMovie or using iMovie. I didn't teach any of the technology. The kids knew how to use Moodle and how to upload. And that, other than that, that was, that was it. But they were creating these, these fabulous videos, and then other students in the class were watching them, and they were responding. And it, some students had 20, 30 posts from other students. And they, were, they weren't just watching theirs or their friends, they were watching all of them and, and posting comments that were supportive or asking follow-up questions, stuff they never did with me. Uh, it's, and so they, they were interested, they were showing their parents, they wanted to come to class and, and watch each other's on the screen. And so a, a static homework sheet, which I'd been doing for years, all of a sudden became this dynamic, interactive, um, way where it became, the kids took ownership over, over the unit. And I think the real light bulb moment came at the end of the next week when we had our assessment for that unit. And usually my class averages are somewhere around the low 80s um, on, on tests. Um, and this one all of a sudden was 91, 92 in some classes. And, and which means they didn't just, they all got it. These kids understood. And, it's, and the only thing that I did differently was that we did this Moodle form. I took myself out of the equation. I wasn't the keeper of knowledge or, or doling out these little packets of information that I thought they were ready for. Uh, it was about them, and uh, it, it was amazing. So say sample one, two, three, four, five, six are different, are different videos. You're not gonna wanna watch the whole thing. They're all average about three minutes long, but if you just scroll through it or to see what the concept is, you'll get some ideas of some. One, one thing I really liked about the, the forums was that um, by giving kids options, they could, they could either go to the forum and just, they could measure something at home and then just post all their work, like they normally would if we did a, a paper and pencil assessment. Um, and then other kids that were more visual, wanted, they had their camera or they had their phone, they wanted to take a picture of it, they were able to upload that. But never, never did, did the technology take the place of the actual learning. It didn't, we didn't have to s stop the unit on, on velocity to actually teach iMovie or teach iPhone or, or teach Moodle forums, really. The science didn't change, all that really changed was what they learned. Assessments usually happen either after labs, a little lab quiz, or at the end of a unit where the kids would take the test and the traditional format would be they pass the test in two or three days later and get it back to them. And I, I was, I'm finding that that's too late for the information they were, they were, they were giving me. By that time, if, if, if a student doesn't understand, there's not much we can do about that because we've already moved on to the next unit. Um, by using either uh, a Moodle quiz or Edmodo quizzes, uh, I'm able to give short quizzes at the beginning of class or the day after a lab or even at the end, end of a unit and get instant feedback. So by, before that student even turns in their, their quiz, I know whether they get it or not. And, and that's not, not only do I have enough time to modify that the next day, I often have time in that class to say, well, well wait a second, we gotta, we gotta go back and, and look at this concept again because a large number of you didn't understand. Or on the, on the flip side of that, if they're breezing through these quizzes, I, I know that we can, we can, we can steam ahead. And, and so I'm, it's, it's allowing me to differentiate in the class and, and really spend time with kids that I know don't understand it and other students could just push them forward and give them some enrichment activities, which uh, just was never, um, never viable before just due to the, the lag time of, uh, of paper-based assessments. The car has two ohms of resistance. How much current is flowing through it? Not only was I really excited to see how, how you know, the class averages on tests increased, but uh, more importantly, the individual successes that I saw. So the strong students got stronger, um, but that's not, that's not that shocking. Um, what I was really excited to see was that some of the, the lower end students, or not, students who aren't really stars in science, some of my quieter kids, um, not only did they make some of the, the most creative videos, um, because it was in a, in a format that wasn't typical for science class, 
but they made so they made these very entertaining videos, which allowed them to be um, kind of star Moodle stars, if you will. And then more importantly, it, it translated to the assessments. Th those students who struggle in here, you know, not, they didn't jump 11%, some of them jumped 25, 26%. Um, and so that was really exciting to me. I was able to reach students that in my normal class format I wasn't able to get to. If you want to do static electricity, some people... Between these Moodle forums and these online assessments, I'm really looking forward to, to next year where I, I can hit the ground running with both of these and, and have students interacting with each other on a more consistent basis, as well as getting lab and, and class assessments um, in real time all the time that, so I can spend more time in class doing, doing real science.